Good morning everyone. Today we will show you the easily damaged parts on the T17 hash board. Now circled is the ASIC chip, which is the main chip of the hash board for computing. If the ASIC chip is damaged, the hash board will have low hash rate or zero hash rate. The chips located in U1 and U2 are signal conversion chips. If these two chips are damaged, the control board will not be able to read the return signal, and the hash board will report zero. The gold chip is a crystal oscillator chip. Damage to this chip will cause the entire hash board to have no clock signal and the hash board will not function properly. These four chips are MOS tubes. If any of the four MOS tubes is damaged, the main power supply will not be able to reach the voltage domain. Okay, let's take a look at this chip. This chip is a boost chip. Once damaged, the boost circuit will not be able to boost the voltage normally, and it will not be able to provide the LDO power supply. It is a PIC chip. If there is a problem with the PIC chip, the control board will not be able to control the start and stop of the hash board. An EEPROM chip. In the process of repairing the hash board, it is necessary to carefully save the code stored in the EEPROM chip. The chip here is 1.8 volt LDO tube. If it is damaged, the chip in this domain will not work properly. This is PLL 0.8 volt chip. When the chip damaged, the power supply of the ASIC chips in the current domain will be abnormal. All of this row are the LDO 1.8 volt chip of the hash board. If such a chip is damaged, the ASIC chip in this domain will be abnormal and cannot output the PLL 0.8 volt power supply. That's all. Thank you for viewing.